You've got to have some kind of a goal. You've got to have hope. There was no hope around the Sonics. And now that they're gone, it's like an emptiness. There's a definite emptiness. If the mayor had been firm, that team would have been here, period. He was the one who sold our team out. I put the primary blame at this point on the, the, the Washington State Legislature and especially its leadership. The bottom line is Howard Schultz made a killing in terms of se selling that team. They were sold for way above market value, way above what he bought for them just a few years earlier. He talked a lot about being a steward of the public trust and of the institution, and I, I believe that. Uh, but coming from him, I think it was just all empty rhetoric. Their whole game plan was to get out of town and create as much ill will in the process as they could. Clay wanted to turn away the fans, and that's exactly what he did. He turned away the fans. It was a very well done manipulation and they took advantage of a lot of circumstances here. We never objected to the Sonics. We objected to paying $500 million to build them a new basketball court. Sad to say, as heartbreaking as it was, it's a fascinating story. Um, because one, it just doesn't happen every day. And just two, how it happened here. It's just incredible. It's tragic. I mean, it really, really should have worked out differently. The politics, the money, there are a lot of villains in this story. <laughs> the greed factor, the you know the the sort of sense of betrayal, uh, the, the you know this sort of uprising of fans that just came out of nowhere. They just felt that they were just having a loved one ripped from them. It is a fascinating story. It truly is. It's a typical gray night in the Emerald City. Looking at the Doppler system, we see a... Uh, God, you know what? Just looking out the window, I see a whole story. Rain followed by what looks to be more rain, followed with a good chance of thunder showers. Let's go. Let's go. Some music out my trunk. Hello, these haters.